Hello, everybody. Uh, I know that uh, uh, you came uh, for many reasons and not for uh, listening some bor uh, boring figures about the faculty where you are, but uh, I'll be very happy to give you uh, some introduction about uh, the faculty and university uh, where we are very happy that we can host uh, this meeting after two years of COVID pandemic where all project meetings were online, uh, it's uh, really fine that uh, the university is full of, uh, full of life right now. And also thanks, thanks to you and uh, especially thanks to Martin who organized this, this, this meeting. Uh, okay, my name is uh, Radek Rin. Uh, I work as a vice dean uh, for international relations uh, in turn, uh, development and strategy at the Faculty of Forestry and Wood Sciences at the uh, Czech University of Life Sciences in Prague. Uh, and on behalf of our Dean, uh, Professor Robert Marušák, who is unfortunately uh, not uh, able to, to come today because he has uh, some other duties, uh, I'm very happy to give you very short uh, information about the faculty. And I hope that uh, this event can also uh, give us the opportunity uh, to uh, at least get to know uh, our, our faculty and if you find in the future some activities uh, where we can help each other, uh, you, you will know us and uh, we, can, we can start some, some new cooperation which will continue after this cost project. I will give you a very short uh, content about, uh, about forest in the Czech Republic. Uh, I will tell you few words about uh, university, faculty, and uh, key activities which we do at the faculty. Uh, total forest area of the Czech Republic is uh, around 2.9 million hectares. It covers more than one third of the coverage of the Czech Republic, and uh, more than, or around 60% of uh, forests are in the ownership of the state. Uh, within two uh, forest enterprise, Czech forest enterprise and military forest enterprise. The rest, around 40% of forests are uh, of non-state uh, forest owners, um, like individuals, some cities, etc. Uh, we are now at the Czech University of Life Sciences, uh, which was established uh, at the beginning of, uh, of uh, the 20th century. Uh, we, we are uh, the university which has six faculties and one institute. Uh, our faculty is one of these six uh, faculties. The, the rest are faculty of engineering, faculty of agriculture and natural resources, faculty of uh, economics and management, uh, faculty of tropical agri-sciences, and faculty of, uh, of uh, environmental, uh, uh, environmental activities or issues. Yeah. So uh, you can see that we are not the university which covers all area from medicine till physics or, or theology. We are a uh, university focused on, uh, on life uh, sciences, uh, uh, life sciences uh, fields. Uh, we, we also, uh, besides this beautiful campus, we have also some other, other buildings and facility outside Prague. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a castle in Kostelec nad Černými lesy. We have a vineyard one, one uh, hour from here to the north of the Czech Republic and, uh, and other activities where we do our field work, where we work with uh, our students and uh, uh, where we can organize uh, some other activities. Our faculty uh, is quite new, I would say. Uh, Within, within, the, uh, within the university, because uh, you can see the last point that it was fully restored in, at the beginning of uh, 1990. But the history goes till 1919, where the independent branch of master studies in forestry uh, was open at uh, another university, Czech, university, Czech Technical University in Prague. Uh, later on, it was transformed into this university, but unfortunately, in 1964, the Faculty of Forestry was, uh, was closed and was transformed into Scientific Forest Institute, and it was moved out of uh, Prague campus. 
The reason was that uh, at that time, there were three faculties of forestry in Czechoslovakia, and former communist government decided that two are enough, and uh, because of the professors of our faculty were quite active, um, or didn't agree with the, uh, with the uh, communist uh, government, so they decided to close our faculty. Students were sent to Brno or Zvolent, to, to other, other institutions, and all professors were moved to Kostelec nad Černými lesy, one, one hour from here, where they worked uh, in, in scientific, scientific Forest Institute till 1990, and after that, they uh, fully restored the faculty. So we speak about modern history, which started 30, 30 years ago. Uh, so when we came to the campus at the beginning of uh, 1990s, uh, it was quite difficult to have some new facility. Uh, but last uh, five, seven years, uh, we managed to get some, uh, some EU funding from national resources and also from, from, uh, from European uh, structural funds. And we were able to uh, build up uh, new infrastructure. Right now you can see that uh, we have 11 departments. Nine departments are um, covering both research and education, and two are covering only, only research. We have around 1.7 thousand students of forestry and wood sciences in all degrees, bachelor, master, and in both version of studies like presence and distance study. It means that people work from Monday to Friday and on Saturday, Sunday, they are here. We have more than 200 employees. Uh, one third from them are from abroad, so we, uh, we try to be international faculty. We also have the university forest enterprise, which can be, which is used uh, during our teaching and for our research activities. And uh, we have also arboretum uh, next to Kostelec, where, uh, where we can see uh, many, many Texans. I will show you a very short video, uh, just for you to, to see uh, the campus in uh, beautiful weather, but I'm very happy that also these days the weather in Prague should be fine, so you'll see the similar, similar views here. The Faculty of Forestry and Wood Sciences at the Czech University of Life Sciences Prague is an important forestry and wood science workplace that provides quality university education thanks to the most modern equipment in Central Europe. Bachelor's degree programs are focused on sustainable landscape management, forest ecosystem management, economics, taxidermy, nature conservation, arboriculture, wooded constructions, wood sciences, game management, and much more. Master's degree programs focus on forestry engineering, wood engineering, wood structures, and wood-based constructions. Doctoral study programs are up-to-date scientifically and deal with current topics from areas such as silviculture, forest protection, forest ecology, wood processing, and global climate change in forestry. Our faculty is located close to the center of Prague and at the same time within reach of the countryside. Our university campus has a number of benefits, such as dormitories, restaurants, a canteen, a large sports complex, and all civic amenities. Our excellent scientific teams work on major international projects. Thanks to our high-quality scientific background, we are a publication leader in the field of forestry and wood sciences, and in all other areas that we provide as part of our teaching. The faculty is an open institution, actively supporting international teams, which is why we have a large number of scientists from all over the world. Thanks to this, more than a quarter of our employees come from abroad. Our faculty is thus an ideal place for internships for foreign students and researchers.
Fine, my, our marketing department asked me to show you the video because they are very active in producing these types of activities on YouTube, so uh, I'm happy that we have it. Uh, well, uh, I'm sure that uh, you will have time uh, tomorrow to, to have a uh, short visit within the faculty uh, buildings and uh, labs. Uh, in fact, we have three buildings. Uh, the red one, which you can see, is, uh, was built uh, seven years ago. Uh, that one, which is on the right side, is the newest one. Uh, it's a high-tech pavilion with uh, many labs for, uh, for teaching and research. And uh, you will also see the, the oldest one, which is that one, yellow, that one uh, uh, white, which is now under the uh, very huge and big reconstruction. So right now, that building is not very uh, friendly to any visitors, so be careful when you go around, <laughs> because uh, uh, yeah, you will, you will see. But if you visit us next year, uh, our, our old facilities will be uh, more or less new, and uh, uh, I hope that it will uh, stay stable for, for many years. Here you can see uh, departments which we have. Uh, they more or less cover our, our typical forestry and wood sciences disciplines like uh, forest genetics, forest ecology, forestry and wood economics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I would say that 20% of our of activities of our faculty are connected with wood. Uh, we have one department focused on wood sciences, which is uh, the, 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 the hugest one of the departments. And then we have two departments of excellent teams uh, of colleagues who work uh, more or less only on, on the research where also Martin is, uh, is a member of one of these, of, of this team. Uh, we, we focus on international relations. We are active member of uh, UFRO, uh, of European Forest Institute. Uh, we also organized uh, last year the annual conference of uh, EFI, unfortunately on online version, in online version, but in 2025 it should be organized uh, in presence here. Uh, we are member of Forext, what is the uh, union or network of uh, forest advisory units of, uh, of uh, the European Union countries. We are also member of InnovaWood, uh, where uh, you can find uh, research institutes and universities working with, uh, with, uh, with wood. And uh, we try to plan uh, summer schools, uh, project meetings, long short-term internships of uh, researchers or students. Uh, just a very short uh, information about, uh, about uh, studies which we have here. You have heard it in, in the video, just short comment. We have two uh, studying programs which are taught in English. One is Bachelor Forestry, the second one is Master Forestry, Water and Landscape Management and all PhD studying programs are, are also taught in English. Uh, I would say that uh, a very huge focus is put on the research and science at the faculty for, for many reasons. Uh, we try to create an environment for excellent science. We try to motivate our colleagues uh, to, to, do, uh, to publish good papers but also to the popularization of the science uh, as we see that uh, it's important for the whole society to express what we do because uh, I guess that the majority of uh, foresters in practice and uh, society don't read nature and, and other very, uh, very famous journals. So we try to uh, translate them information and attract people from uh, the Czech Republic to, to get loved with forestry because I don't know how it's in your countries, but uh, nowadays we see that uh, that feels like agriculture and forestry uh, suffers from, uh, from uh, let's say, well, I would say that people prefer ecology and protection than agriculture and forestry, and it's difficult, and it's our task to explain them that all these activities can be in one, uh, can be in one field, that forestry is also protection and also uh, ecology but uh, the society is quite divided, I would say, in, in this sense. Uh, as I said, we try to do good, good excellent science. 
uh, you can see uh, that in 2021 we got uh, 249 uh, uh, publications uh, on Web of Science. Uh, I mentioned that we are a little bit more than 200 employees. Uh, the tendency is increasing, what is, uh, what is fine for us. And what is more important is that uh, the majority of uh, these uh, publications are in top 10, uh, Q1 or Q2, uh, according to, to ICE. So uh, these, uh, these figures are, are also very important for us because of the uh, budgeting uh, from the government till to, to, to universities. Uh, here you can see uh, four classifications uh, where we are very active. Of course, agriculture, forestry, biological sciences, and, uh, and the others. We are also active in project activities. I would say that one third of the whole budget of, of, the, of the faculty is composed by external sources like uh, project. Uh, there are, uh, last year it was 6.6 .6 million euro. Uh, per, uh, for, for all the projects which we had. Uh, we try to increase the number of international projects, uh, especially Horizon. Uh, last, uh, last year was uh, very successful, last 12 months, let's say, where we got around six Horizons. Uh, one of them is uh, a Horizon where we are uh, a leader of the team, what is, uh, what is very fine for us, uh, because, uh, the, let's say, the source of money on the national level is decreasing, so we are happy that we can get the wave and, and be, be active in, uh, in international funding. Well, uh, here I put on the slide some, some activities where we can find a space for mutual cooperation. Uh, I know that you came from 34 countries, I was told. 34, maybe. It's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot, so uh, if you feel after a visit here that there is another space than, than your cost project, uh, feel free to contact Martin or to contact other colleagues uh, you are in touch or you can contact me and I'm sure that we can find, uh, find a way how to, how to work on it and uh, I'll be very happy to, to help with these activities. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you will have a very fruitful meeting uh, we will maybe see during uh, during these days for a while, and uh, yeah, enjoy and uh, good luck with the whole project. And of course, yeah. <laughs>